Greetings and salutations YouTube is Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic today. I'm here um, with a new video. This is going to be a shoe kind of like cleaning and maybe kind of like a restore video. I don't know, last time I said that I restored something, some people did not like that I said restored because I don't know what they thought I was doing, but I don't know. Like... <laughs> <laughs> to restore something you don't always need to do like a million different things like sometimes all you really need to do is clean it um, and condition it but um, today I have these Giuseppe Zanotti shoes that I thrifted from the Goodwill um, these were only eight dollars and ninety nine cents and today I am going to clean them up with you and just like any other like shoe or handbag or wallet cleaning repairing whatever video I don't exactly know all the things that we're going to be using I just have an arsenal of stuff that I do use and it always depends on the item um, how much like how many different items or how many different cleaning supplies or whatever I'm going to be using for them and these shoes I don't think are like the worst there's a little bit of yellowing on the front um, hopefully we can um, get rid of that I know there's like different solutions that you can use you put it under like a UV light or something and we don't have that here <laughs> so we're gonna see what we can do uh, I did also get like a new kind of cleaning thing that I wanted to try out so there's that as well um, so let's kind of get into this so the first thing I have here um, which is a, like the most important thing I think is probably the microfiber cloth this is really important to like really try and lift and get the dirt and grime off the shoe um, we also have my trusty Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion this is by far my most favorite one that I've used um, there's lots of good ones out there, but this one is my favorite one that I have tried so far. Uh, all these things I'm showing you guys are also going to be linked down below in the description box if you guys are interested in checking them out. Um, then I also do have this Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner. Uh, I love this stuff. This works really well for handbags as well as um, shoes, but this stuff is fantastic. And with that, sometimes I'll use a... Uh, one of these little brushes bristle brush uh, you can use like a toothbrush or whatever you want to use but i have this guy right here and this is the newest thing that i just found at the goodwill um that i've never actually tried before but it's um from the same brand as like the kiwi um cleaner that i have here and i also use like the shoe dyes in this as well but this is like uh i got this for $1.99 at the goodwill let me actually take this thing off so i can see what like um uh, read what the actual thing is i've never actually um used this product before and i was really interested in seeing how it worked uh i don't really know what this stuff is called i think it's like called like shoe white shoe whitener or something um it's formulated with an advanced polymer and whitener agent to help older sport shoes look like new. So that's what I'm hoping I can use to get like the sh like the fronts of the shoes that are yellow white again. So I don't know. We shall see. Uh, but I mean that yellowing could really be anything. It could just be dirt. It could just be whatever. So we'll see um so with that being said if you guys love these kinds of videos love thrifting home decor cooking vlogs you guys have come to the right place i do post videos every single day don't forget to add me on instagram it's adrian just like it's spelled here i post even more behind the scenes stuff from handbag cleaning to um thrifting trips tips and tricks and tips uh cooking and all that so it's adrian just like it's spelled here add me on Insta uh, add me to um, or check out my shop, it's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale for my thrifting ventures where I think these actually might go up if um, these shoes don't fit my sister. They're 36, so they might be a little big for her, uh, but we shall see. And yeah, without further ado, let's hop into this cleaning. So we're going to start off with one shoe first. I don't know why I always do the right shoe first when I clean. I don't know what it is, but um, I'm actually just going to brush the whole shoe first to kind of like loosen the dirt that's on here I don't know just like to do that and then uh, we're gonna start off with this cleaner because I know that this stuff probably looks 
pretty dirty. Um, we're gonna use the conditioner at um, last. Like if your shoe or your handbag or whatever isn't really as dirty as this shoe and you just wanna like condition it and um, cleanse it a little bit and also like just lift off like really superficial dirt and stains and marks on the shoe or, or handbag, then you can just use this because it's kinda like, it covers all those bases. But when things are dirtier like this and I really wanna um, clean it, I usually tend to go with this shoe cleaner. And whenever I like make these videos, I always want to think, I always like try to think of or use things that are like easily accessible. Um, nothing like too crazy that like you're going to have to like order online. All these things you can get at your local Walmart or Target um, or, even, or even Amazon. Like I said, everything is linked down below, but you can just get these things pretty easily. I think they even sell these at like CVS or whatever but this shoe is cleaning up really nicely especially this top leather piece looking really really good see look at that is looking Really, really nice. I might actually let the cleaner sit down here on the bottom portion, on the like rubber portion of the shoe, just so that you can like kind of set in a little bit and um, kind of work its magic. But I'm just gonna kind of rub it in to the crevices and then I'll sometimes I'll let this sit for a few minutes just to see what it'll do which is what I'm gonna do right now so I'm just gonna let this sit and then I'll be right back with you guys all right we are back with the shoe let us see how clean the sides got, they did get a lot cleaner than they were, but there is still definitely a yellowing to the sides. So we shall see. Let's just finish cleaning up the rest of the shoe and we'll go from there. All right, we are back with a shoe. Hopefully got to work some of its magic because the front was looking a little dire. So let us see. Ooh, that is coming up real nice. Okay, the front, look at the difference in these two shoes. I know like sometimes the camera will um, kind of like make it look a little better, but look at, look at that. They both had these like scuffy kind of marks like that and pretty much all out. So that is fantastic. Um, but now, I kind of, actually let's finish like the rest. Let's finish up the rest of the shoe. And then we'll hit up um, like that white, like not the white, like the rubbery bottom part of the shoe. It is just so yellow on the front, like it's intense. The rest of the shoe, though, is cleaning up really nicely. Look at that. The leather looks fantastic now that it's, like, cleaned up.
Okay, so let's show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the other shoe. Look at how much cleaner that shoe is. Oh, it looks fantastic. And then the back. This is the dirty one. This one's the clean one. But okay, so now that we tackled that, there is the problem of the sole, like that part. Um, oh, like the inside is actually kind of dusty, but I don't think it's really... All right. So let's let's try it. It says to apply it over the whole shoe. I feel like I don't really need to apply it to the leather part. I just really want to apply it to this portion of the shoe. So we're going to shake it up. I'm pretty excited to use this. I really want to see how it works. <gasps> Whoa. Stop it. You guys see that? Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh! Okay, the test to see is like when it dries to see how this looks. But this is looking fan. Fantastic. Like seriously. This is looking really, really good. And I'm going like in circular motions, clockwise, counterclockwise, to really try and get it into all of the grooves of this. Oh my gosh, but seriously. Do you see that? Stop it, this stuff is magic. I need to try this like on a bag. Now I really want to see how it looks on a handbag. Look at the difference. Do you see that right here? You guys, are you seriously kidding me right now? That looks so good. This stuff is so good. I need to buy all of this stuff from the thrift store because it is so good. I'm like literally so shook right now with how good this looks. <laughs> Look at how, can you see that? Like, because that is killing me. That is so good. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I'm just going to finish up working on this shoe. This stuff is insane. Um, I'm going to give the final review on it, like, once it's done drying and all that. But, like, literally, this stuff is, like, magic. Like, I thought it was, like, a, a, like a whitening agent, but I, I think it's, like, some sort of acrylic paint which is cool like I know um a lot of the times people will paint like the sides of um the like the rubber which is cool um and I know that this like paint right here this is all like paint also and then we're just gonna finish up this front portion Oh, it's literally so, so good. This is like one of the best things I've ever used on a shoe. I can't wait to try it on a handbag, but I'm going to let this dry and then I'll show you guys um, the final results of this shoe in comparison with this one. I'm shook. Like, look at the difference. 
Oh, amazing. Alright guys, I wanted to show you the shoes again in comparison, um, side by side. Um, this one I kind of messed up because I touched it and it was still wet and um, I already washed this guy and then I like they I washed like the little sponge and then now like I think I have to wait for it to completely dry because I was trying to um, use it on the shoe again and like it just like completely watered down the solution that's in there <laughs> so um, don't wash it till you're done I don't know why I felt the need to go wash it in between um, but I was just being a little much uh, but here are the shoes again they look so so good now that they're um, cleaned up the comparison is amazing it's spectacular um there's the backs and yeah so pretty much um what i used oh also i did off screen also use my conditioner but let me show you guys how i use it um so i just get the lotion and i placed it on to there and then I just like put it all over the shoe like that and then this is also like a great like way to upkeep your shoes um, if you want to like condition them every time you use them that would be cool or, like um, if you have shoes that you wear all the time like you can condition them like once a week it will take off like the superficial dirt that is on the shoe itself and it'll um, also keep the leather nice and conditioned. And when, when your leather is conditioned, um, it's just like your skin. It helps prevent scratches, um, helps prevent abrasions and uh, staining as well. So I think like it's really important to just condition your shoes because leather is very fragile um, when it gets dry, just like your skin. Like when your skin is dry, it's easier to get like cuts or whatever on your skin so um, that is pretty much it here are the shoes one more time they look so fantastic I am so super duper excited for how great the shoes turned out you guys enjoyed the video again thank you so much for hanging out with me today um, if you guys tried any of the products that I showed in this video and cleaned up any of your shoes or handbags let me know comment down below tag me too um, on your projects on Instagram I love to see I love to see your guys's um, things uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow bright and early at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. for a new video I love you guys immensely and I'll see you guys all in the next video all right bye